Hi, I'm Emma Lou, the Creative Director with Heartfelt Creations. Today I'm going to show you how you can stamp some focal images into the background, add some prills, and then add some dimensional flowers to the front to create some very dimensional accents. This will create a stunning card that your friends will absolutely love. You'll learn some techniques that will make it quick and easy for you. So join me and we'll learn those together. <music> To create this card, we're going to stamp these background flowers first, and that stamp comes from the Enchanted Mum Clusters stamp set. You'll see that here on the back. Um, so to stamp this, I actually just stamped or inked up the uh, partial image. Um, I did not want the dragonfly on this, so I'm just going to lay this down so I can ink it up a little bit better. Um, but this is using a guacamole chalk ink. That sounds good enough to eat. Just want to make sure I have that um, inked up well. And we're going to go ahead and just stamp that kind of on the top left hand corner. These rectangles I had pre-cut out with the um, images from the cut mat create section or cut mat create die so you can see where that's stamped. So we're go going to go ahead and just ink this up, stamp it again. So these are great for just kind of a random background flower. I'll set this down just a little bit further so that kind of offsets that flower. And now we're ready to add the prills to the top of this flower. To add the prills to the flowers, I just do very quick dots of glue to the flower so that the prills will just kind of randomly stick to these. So you can just kind of do it very quickly. And if you see that once you sprinkle the prills over the top that you don't have enough, you can always go back and you can add more glue. Um, the prills that I'm using, um, the color is called Hot Mama. Um, it comes out of a set. I'll have the link in the video description so you can see all the different products that I use. So you can see how nicely that will look as a background effect. Now we're ready to layer this on the card and add our accents. The card base was created from the 6x6 panel that you see on here. So there's a couple different 6x6 panels in the Enchanted Mum collection. So this creates a 6x6 card base. And then you can go ahead and just add your glue to the back of this panel. I'm using the Dries Clear Glue. And um, I had cut these out with the Cut Matte Create dies. So you can just go ahead and just glue these to your card base. And then you're ready to add your flowers. Um, now you'll want to watch my previous video on how to shape the Enchanted Mums but those got stamped and cut out with the Enchanted Mum stamp and die set. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this um, to the side of the card. So we'll just put one large flower kind of off to the side a little bit. And then one thing that's really cool is we have these main stamped images that you can go ahead and cut apart and kind of use as leaf sprays for the background. So this one, I'll go ahead and just kind of chop it apart right in here. And we'll put this one um, kind of off to the side and each card comes out just a little bit differently based on how you position it. Um, we'll go down here, we'll add this piece. This is another half that I had stamped and I have already cut it apart but we'll put that down in this side. Um, and these were cut out from the, let me see, it was from the Enchanted Mum Bouquet um, that has this two stamps and then the die. Um, there's another stamp in that collection that I was just cutting off the leaves. So you can really use these multi-purpose. So you'll see here are the leaves that I cut off and you can actually just continue cutting those apart and clipping off some of the stem and you can use those leaves as accents with the Enchanted Mum. So there's so many different ways that you can use the main uh, stamps and leaves together, but you can just kind of bring that in. Sometimes I add my swirls first, other times I'll add the leaves first. So you can kind of play with that and see what you um, like to work with. So we'll go ahead and, and add another leaf up on this side just to kind of um, cover this section in here. Then I have another flower um, that I created that's a little bit smaller, and we'll just kind of tuck that 
in on the side. So you can kind of see, oops, that glue dripped a little bit. This glue does tend to do that if you put it on really thick. But you can just kind of set that in there, kind of twist those leaves around so you'll kind of see that laying in there. And then we'll put a dot of glue on this bud and kind of put that in here. If you have that glue, actually I should probably wipe that off because that's a big chunk of glue. It does dry clear. Um, so we'll put that in there. So this is all wet, so I don't like to move it around too much. But if you wanted to add another spray of the um, dragonflies or kind of that little vine, you could bring that up in here. And that will just kind of address that in there. And then you could go back, add some more leaves up here and finish it off with the dragonflies. And you'll have a card that is very similar to this. So you can see how quickly you can add um, those flowers and leaves to make a beautiful card. Have fun creating cards with your Enchanted Mom collection. We'd love to see what you create. You can do so by sharing your creations on Facebook. You can also visit our gallery at heartfeltcreations.us for more inspiration. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.